Hey, Jesus fans, welcome to True North Podcast, where we grow closer to God together. This podcast was brought to you by Solid Rock Church in Irving, Texas, and our host, Pastor Ed Snyder. To find out more about this podcast, visit our website at truenorthdfw.org. Now let's join Pastor Snyder in a new direction and a new destination. Hey, everybody, welcome back to True North Podcast. It's been a minute since we've been on. We have been working on a new format to better serve you with the content that we deliver. But in the midst of that, we had an event. And so we're going to tell you about it today, kind of keep you in the loop so that you can help us pray and move forward. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. So as we have uh, been moving forward, trying to up the quality of True North podcast, uh, we've been doing a lot of studying and listening to you as our great listeners, and we really appreciate you being on board with us while we're in this interim. But uh, the last few days, I have not felt well. Uh, The energy level was down and just kind of feeling kind of bleh. Well, Friday, I finally got into my primary doctor and started telling him about these, you know, stuff that's going on. He ordered some tests and all of that. That was Friday about 3.30. Twelve hours later, 3.30 in the morning on Saturday, I woke up out of a dead sleep with an awful pain high in my chest, underneath my neck, kind of at my collarbone, and on into my back. Well, when I sat up, not trying to be gross, but I belched like nobody's business. I mean, just a lot. And I thought, well, I've got a bad case of indigestion. So I went in the bathroom, got a drink of water, kind of sat there and let my body do its thing with this belching thing. And actually got to feeling better. Pain subsided. And so I went back to bed and man, that thing came back with, with vengeance, the pain. And so I thought, okay. So I went downstairs and, you know, got dressed, went down, sat in the recliner thinking that this again was indigestion and, um, the pain just intensified. It was, a, an awful, unbearable pain. So I yelled up to my uh, back upstairs to my wife and said, honey, you're going to have to take me to the emergency room. So, of course, they rushed me right in. And I have had, for those of you that don't know, I had a corrective open heart double bypass back in 16. Everything has been fine. I've been doing my checkups and I've been, you know, trying to keep the steps in. Of course, the pandemic messed everything up. And then um, as they were examining me, they did an EKG and the doc came in and said, Mr. Snyder, you're having a heart attack right now. And I'm like, uh, wait a minute. Let's let's think this through. Let's talk about this. You know, I don't have normal EKGs because of open heart surgery. See, I understand that. But I'm looking at this result. You're in the middle of a heart attack and we have got to enact the protocol. So when she did that, I'm telling six or eight, I don't know how many, six or so people came rushing in the room and I went flat and they started hooking things up and starting IVs. And I'm looking at my wife sitting over in the corner and I'm just staring at her thinking, I do not want to leave you. And another part of my mind was going, can you believe this? Can you believe this is happening? So uh, as the night progressed or the morning progressed, they took me into a heart cath. And unfortunately, that was somewhat but uh, unsuccessful and somewhat successful. They were able to see that a a piece of plaque broke loose and traveled through and hit or got stuck in the graph of my surgery from 2016. And that is what caused the heart attack. Uh, another thing I said, it's somewhat unsuccessful because there was a problem. They had to go in on both sides using both arteries, trying to get up into my heart because my veins are weird from the birth defect that I have in my, in my heart. So, uh, of course they put me in intensive care and continued some tests and all of that. It was very frightful. I don't mind telling you that. It was extremely frightful. And uh, so as days progressed, tests came in, 
uh, they they told me this. I asked the question, what are we going to do about that piece of plaque that's now stuck in the graph from my surgery? And the cardiologist said, we're not going to do anything. It's too dangerous to try to go in and get. Uh, it, you're a, this is a one-and-done heart attack. In other words, it lodged, it stuck, it caused a heart attack. The heart attack is now over, and it's scarring over. So in other words, it's just there, and it's going to stay there. So the next question is, how much damage has the heart attack done to the heart, and where did this come from? They thought that I had a uh, some kind of arterial disease in my legs and possibly a blood clot or a blockage in one of the arteries or veins in my legs. So they went in for another test to determine whether I've got this arterial disease and what is blocking or where did that plaque come from. Here's here's where God started working. Here's where your prayers started being answered. The test results came back negative. There is no presence of any disease in my arteries or veins of my legs. There was no pl- no blockages of plaque and no blood clots existed in my legs. And we thank God for that. The next question is, how much damage has been done to the heart? Uh, They did an uh, ultrasound or an echocardiogram on my heart, and all four of my chambers are working as they should. Uh, They have got me on some high blood pressure medicine, even though I don't have high blood pressure, simply to slow my my, uh, blood pressure down so it gives my heart uh, a chance to recuperate from the heart attack. So I've got to follow up with the cardiologist in two weeks. Uh, and the doctor told me, I want you to rest. I don't want you to do anything. If you take a walk, make it a stroll. Do not get strenuous with your walks. We'll get to that later. Uh, they are going to put me in cardiac rehab uh, to start me getting my strength back. I am extremely weak. But to God be the glory for all that he has done. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, yet ahead of us for the kingdom of God, not only at Solid Rock Church, uh, but also here on True North Podcast. And the enemy is not going to get in the way. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So on the eve of this Thanksgiving, I want to say how much that I really appreciate you as our listeners, our friends out there, uh, social media has been blowing up as my wife has been updating everybody. Uh, my wife left me in emergency or left me in the ICU unit one night. I told her to go home and get in bed and get a good night's rest. And she said, honey, <laughs> half of Facebook is praying for you. God's going to take care of this. And that was just an assurance. So I'm sorry for the emotion, but again, I am thankful today, not only to be alive, but to have so many friends, family, loved ones that are around me, supporting, praying for me. I'm going to come back better than I ever have from this. We're going to conquer this. We're going to uh, get our podcast finished, redesigning, we hope. I may just use the format that we've been using uh, just to keep our content flowing and maybe work it behind the scenes. But God is good, and that is just a a little bit of an update that I wanted to put out there uh, for you today. Please keep praying. Please keep um, uh, supporting us in your listenership here at True North Podcast. We love you so very much and enjoy what God is doing through this ministry. And I want everyone to enjoy a very, very happy Thanksgiving eat a lot of good food, but more than anything, remember and reflect what God has done for you. God bless you, and we're going to see you next week right here on True North Podcast. God bless. Thank you for joining us at True North Podcast. You can find us on iHeartRadio or any other podcasting platform. If you want to have any questions, visit us at truenorthdfw.org. We'll catch you all next week.